Okay, I've, uh, the question I asked, even though Hawkins had cancelled all his illnesses, in later, night, later life he died, why didn't he cancel those illnesses, or what happened? Well, uh, Hawkins bears testimony that he cancelled his beliefs in about 23 illnesses. This is roughly approximately what happened, and 23 illnesses left him, many of them life-threatening. And he ran a group, attitudinal healing group, in America, People with things like cancer, AIDS, they did the spiritual practice and their illnesses disappeared as well. So the miracles were all around him. I went and met him. He had gout. I talked to him about my gout. He talked to me about his gout and what to do. And my gout disappeared. So what he was saying is true. And I did what he said and my illnesses disappeared as well. So uh, I bear testimony to Hawkins' testimony and to the power and the love of God uh, for those who doubt. And... Um, Okay, so, but now, if, I, you know, obviously, I mean, Hawkins is my teacher. I'm intensely devoted to his works and his teachings. And what you'll see is that as he came out of, um, as he came out of his um, in, suffering, his addiction and his illnesses, as he was starting to get spiritually awake, he was, uh, you know, the Holy, uh, the Course in Miracles was shown to him. And uh, and he did that. He was inspired to do that. God told him to do that. And um, and then all his illnesses started to leave. And he taught that to others, and their illnesses started to leave. And it was like God was showing him how to use spiritual tools. Like, and in that phase of his life, it seemed like the right thing to do to cancel all these illnesses. Later, he went to far more advanced states where the body is not important any longer, and he reached those enlightened states where whether the body survives or not, is no longer interesting in, any longer. And he'd ex he had experienced those infinite states beyond the body. And actually, as he said, you know, uh, as he sort of makes jokes at people, you don't want to stay in the body for too long. You know, once it's worn out, you want to return to the light, you know. It's far happier there. You wouldn't, like, this world is not, is not in, I, these are my words, this world is not heaven. If you can leave this body and go off into those infinite blissful states, uh, it would be like, why would you want to keep the body going when you can go to those more high vibrations? So it becomes like a dumb thing to do at those higher states. You don't want to be in this world any longer. You want to, okay, I've done my bit trying to help those people stuck in illusions. I've shared what they need to do. I've written several books. I've done hundreds of videos. I've shared what everyone needs to know in this world to escape the suffering that's in this world so they can go to a better place. So at that point, you know, you don't want to be in a 300-year-old body sticking around in this world. This world is not not the best place to be. I can share that from my own experience, having had a white light spiritual experience. This world is heavy going. So once you've done your work here and you've done the spiritual work that needs to be done and carried the message to others that you need to be carried, then that's great. You know, you've got that spiritual permission. It's now you can go to a better place. So um, it then became... It, at those higher vibrations, you can't even be bothered to be cancelling stuff because you're, even if the body was dying, it would be immaterial. You're not that, you're not identified with it, and it's going to be great when you leave it. So, uh, but, you know, in the beginning, when you cancel those beliefs for the alleviation of the suffering of humanity, because he was a teacher of enlightenment, he had compassion for all human suffering, he, he transcended those illnesses and he shared <clears throat> with everyone, this is what you need to do if you have illnesses to clear them. And he shared his experience, and uh, I bear testimony, his stuff works. So for the alleviation of the suffering of humanity, he shared that out of, out of God's love with us all. And But later on, you don't want to keep the body going three, four hundred. He did his work. As he said, there was a karmic contract to return to this world to, to learn a few lessons and to do some teaching. That That mission from God has been fulfilled. So now you can leave. You don't have to keep the body going. He's shared what he needs to be done. His work is done as an enlightened teacher for humanity, which is stuck in separation and illusions. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my take on why Hawkins isn't 500 years old and uh, in a young body right now. Um, and I'm going to press stop.